Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back into the channel uh, for another episode of our Element Enduro Sendero upgrade series. Um, if you're not familiar with where we're at so far, um, I'll put a link up above so that you can kind of catch some of the previous videos um, to see what we've gotten to this point uh, as far as our upgrades from a stock RTR to what we're turning into you know, a pretty heavily modified uh, trail truck. So uh, today what we're doing is we are going to be upgrading to some Club 5 racing uh, steering links uh, as well as um, all of the other links for the underside. And these are like a high clearance link. See, you can see how they've got like a bend in them uh, as to where the factory links have just, they're kind of straight. Uh, this will give us a little bit more fail. Uh, this will give us a little bit more clearance and uh, add a little bit more weight down below as well uh, because these are like a three, I believe they're a three sixteenths stainless um yeah 316 uh so what that's going to help do is you know add a little bit more of this unsprung wake that we've gotten to this point um and help with uh keeping you know it planted pretty well on the trail while we're while we're crawling um it also has new uh rod ends so that uh, i've had trouble with these ones the, the stock ones in the past where especially on the steering um they've come unthreaded and uh, that's been kind of a, a bummer. So, and I don't know what's causing it. I don't know if the, the threads have stripped out on those plastic rod ends um, already or, or what. And hopefully with upgrading to these heavier rod ends, that'll help reduce that, you know, or get rid of that problem. Um, one thing that I highly recommend is this guy here. It's called a Zerba tool. Um, I'll put a link to the website down below so that you can pick one up for yourself. Uh, basically all it is is the rod end goes into here and it gives you something to be able to hold and twist uh, and get that threaded on. Um, makes life so much easier. So before we start our disassembly, I figured I'd show you guys what the Zerba tool does in putting on these, these rod ends. And as you can see, I've already started putting these together. I figured I'd get these assembled before we start the disassembly. So um, all you gotta do is just take your rod end and just get it started and then you just take the Zerba tool and you can see that it's got it's it's just a 3d printed part it's nothing special uh, color it just comes in whatever color you get so it's not a big deal third I forget how much they are I think they're like they're under 20 bucks but you just take this just put the rod end in and then all you gotta do is just thread it on just holding the other side makes it so much easier than trying to spin that with a set of pliers or whatever um, and sometimes running a you know, a, a tool through there and spinning that. I mean, that works as well. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it, but uh, for me, I just think this is just kind of the easiest, simplest way to do it. And there it is, all done. So pretty simple. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll put the description and the, the link for this uh, down below. Now that I've got all the links assembled, I'm going to go ahead and give ourselves some room and we're going to go ahead and take the tires off and uh, that way we have better access to the links. All right, guys, and just like that, with the magic of time travel, the front links are done. Um, hopefully you can kind of see how beefy these things are. Sorry for the lighting, it kind of sucks. Um, but you do get a little bit of extra travel um, with that pan hard bar being bent like that uh, before the factory link would kind of hit the top of the pumpkin. Um, and now we've got a little extra clearance. So the only thing limiting travel is just the shocks themselves just completely being bottomed out. So. Um, that's that. The only thing I'm not a fan of is right now this 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 link here is kind of resting on top of the output on the the differential. So there's going to be some rubbing there, um, but there's not much that can be done about that. I don't see how we can get around that. But uh, moving on, let's get keep going and uh, do the remainder of the links. 
All right, guys, we're all done. And hopefully you can kind of see you know, how good that that extra clearance is now. Like, look at the underside. The links come straight off and then dip down. They almost follow the, the angle of the, the drive shaft. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, fitment's good. Um, the front is still kind of resting on that output shaft area of let's see if you can get in there and see but I thought maybe it would rest on the the lower front links to kind of raise it up but it doesn't but um, it's all good we'll see how it goes uh, through some initial testing and and uh, see how it performs but yeah everything uh, went together good so I'm gonna go ahead and let's get the tires back on this thing and and see uh, see how it looks when it's all when it's all finished. And there it is. I think it looks I think it looks so good. I'm so happy with how this truck's turning out. Um, and let's see if I can get you guys down here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that extra clearance is going to be super handy when going over some real, you know, not long but just short, tall like rocks, branches, trees, whatever. Um, it's looking really good. Super happy with how this is turning out. And let's see if we can. Yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, do you like how this is turning? Is this something you would do to your truck? Like, is this something that you feel is valuable information to kind of see somebody else do? Kind of gives you the inspiration to to want to do it to your to your own truck or would you kind of go a different route uh, maybe do things a little different you know uh, let me know put the comments down below let me know what you think uh, let's see you know what uh, let's see what input you guys have and you know I'm always curious to see what what other people are doing with their projects so uh, leave the comment down below be sure to you know give this video a a like and a, a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always get notified whenever we we upload videos and uh, if you guys are enjoying it we will see you on the next one thanks for tuning in